these are the we put this wood down before, and we want we don't want it sliding around, so we went ahead and put some little L brackets in there. Instead of gluing it. Yeah, we don't want to glue the whole thing because this way we can just take these screws out, pull the whole thing out, and it's done. Yep. Okay, so we put that those L brackets into the wood, and now we just need to put these L brackets that came with the toilet. Uh, we're going to put these in. That way you can just remove the toilet anytime you want to. It's got these little screws that go to the toilet. And we're going to put these screws in here. It's pretty easy. You just drill a hole, put these screws in. Um, before we obviously uh, bolt it in here, we want to make sure it's in the right spot. So just uh, before you do anything, just make sure you got it in the right spot. because. You have to redo it, start from scratch. So I want it to be a little bit farther away, not tippy on the front, so we can still open this thing up and get into it, and that fits just right. No reason, there's no reason to put it any further this way or any further that way or any further that way. Um, so I just want it to be level as possible. So I'm just trying to level it with the back of this before I put it in. Okay, so how I'm gonna do this, I'm just going to put one of the, the both the brackets in. These screws have to go into those holes, so we need to mark those somehow. So I we, we don't have the the marker, so I'm just going to smack it like that. You want to get your mark as close to the middle as you can. It's never going to be perfect, but it's just the way you got to do it. So then you got to remove this. Hopefully we won't have to remove the handle. One extra piece of work that we don't have to do. And then you get the drill. Now there's probably some kind of science or idea of how big the drill is supposed to be compared to the screw. But I just go like about half the size of the inside of the screw. Should be good. Hopefully it won't split the wood and we have to start everything over again. But that's the way you do it. Obviously, if you go too far, you'll go into the floor, so you got to be careful. Just don't drill too too much. I don't really like that angle there. So I'm just going to leave that, and I'm going to mark this other side so I can move the move the toilet. Okay, so I got uh, the holes marked on both sides, so now I'm, I'm going to move the move the toilet. So I can drill my holes. You can see where my holes are right here. I always try to be as straight as possible. The other side. Try not to go through the whole the floor. If you wanted to be precise, you could put tape up to here and then go in, but I think it's not that big a deal, so. So what you want to do when you put these things in, you want to screw these screws in, but you don't want to screw them in tight because there may be a little bit of a fitting issue. So you put these screws in, you put them in like semi-tight, uh, and then once you put it in, you can see, you can check to see if everything's in position. And once it's clicked down to the toilet, then I'm going to tighten these up and hopefully it all works out. So one of the things you have to check when you're putting the screw in to see if you drilled the hole too small or too big. If the hole's too small, it's going to be super hard to get the screw in. If the hole's too big, it's going to be too easy to get the screw in. It's not going to be any strength. So you got that little hole in there. I'm just going to try to see how tight it is and see if it's good or not. So it's going in pretty easy. So I'm satisfied with that, the size of that hole. I mean, I think it should be just a little bit bigger, but I think we'll be okay. They just barely fit. That was by luck, not by design. But looks like it's gonna work, so. So now, we try to lift it in there, see if it works. It's real. Okay, so now I got that on there. Keep these mounted up. Okay, it looks like the screw's going right in. 
other side. All right, so they both fit. Seems perfect. I'm going to go ahead and tighten things down. Double check. Make sure they're tight. Nice and tight. All right. So there we go. Two brackets installed. It's going to hold this in place a little better when we're driving, obviously. It's not going to flop around. All right. It's pretty easy to get these in. It just seems like it slides right in. So that's it. So we have our composting toilet that we got from what's it, Nature's Nature's Head. Nature's Head uh, composting toilet. They're about a thousand bucks. Uh, we've only had it for a short time, but the quality seems excellent. The design seems like a great idea. And we'll get back to you on how this thing works down the road. So thanks a lot. Bye-bye.